formerly Corporate Secretary and Treasurer Mohit Dargani and his sibling, formerly President Winkel Dargani, could be hiding following the arrest order against them issued by the Senate Blue Ribbon Committee. Senate Sergeant-at-Arms Chief Retired General Renessa Monte says the two formerly executives cannot be located in their registered addresses in Taguig and San Juan. But according to Senate President Vicente Soto III, the Senate will continue looking for the whereabouts of the Dargani siblings until the arrest order is served. He also thanked the members of the police for assisting the Senate Sergeant at Arms in serving the arrest orders. Before this, the lawyer, formerly Director Lincoln Ong, Attorney Ferdinand Topacio said in a press conference that the police members should protect the civilian executives instead of obeying the Senate Sergeant at Arms, citing the order of President Duterte to law enforcers to ignore the subpoenas and arrest orders issued by senators. He also warned the Senate Sergeant at Arms and the senators that they may be held liable of serious illegal detention should they proceed with the arrest. The office of the Senate Sergeant at Arms has no statutory authority, he has no legal authority to arrest anyone outside of the premises of the Senate. Any attempt by the Senate Sergeant at Arms to arrest Mr. Dargani may subject him to criminal liability, including serious illegal detention, which is non-bailable. Any senator ordering him to arrest Mr. Dargani, and if he is arrested, may be liable for the same offense. But Senate Blue Ribbon Committee Chairperson Richard Gordon calls it absurd, citing an example where the Senate has to wait for a witness to enter the Senate premises before he or she can be cited for contempt and be detained. Gordon explains this will lead to a really stupid situation. Soto also maintained that the power of the Senate to arrest by declaring a person in contempt is clear and has been upheld by the Supreme Court in several cases. Senator Panfilo Lacson, for his part, lamented that they lost the element of surprise in arresting the Darganis, which he said is one of the limitations of a virtual proceeding. Jorilin Delgado, UNTV News and Rescue. We serve the people, we give glory to God.